By the time he was eight years old, he had lost five siblings. At nine, he was left for dead, only to awaken from a coma paralyzed. But he recovered from a seemingly hopeless state of body and mind. Bradley Quick is here to share with you his path from Skid Row junkie to successful talk show host, author, mentor, and motivational speaker. If you're looking for a better tomorrow, if you want a positive evolution, or if you're in need of a quick fix, you're in the right place. Now kick back and get ready for the top experts in the field of body, mind, and soul. Here on The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Quick Fix here on Cool Change Radio, your home for positive answers and the place for you to find that life and health solution you've been looking for. We're right here right now to inform you to the latest life enhancement techniques in many different areas, including health, fitness, nutrition, psychology, finance, weight loss, and a whole variety of other wonderful and life-empowering topics. Today's show is brought to you by the Cool Change Foundation. If you're fond of our show, if we brought you some breakthrough solutions, or you just want to help us stay on the air, come on, donate today. Think about it. When we make life better for mom and dad, we make life better for the children. When we make life better for the children, we make life better for the entire family. Everybody wins, and it's 100% tax deductible. No donation is ever too small. You can donate right now at www.thecoolchangefoundation.org. That's thecoolchangefoundation.org. And remember, it's time for Cool Change with the Cool Change Foundation. Welcome, everyone. My name is Bradley Quick. I'm here, as always, to discuss solutions with you. I'm here to talk to you about having a better life experience and becoming the best you that you can be. Our guest today is Dr. Joseph Flores from Holland. He's a teacher of holistic medicine, acupuncture, and Eastern philosophy. He's also a doctor of metaphysics and a master universal of universal consciousness. Hey, doctor, you ready for a great show? I'm waiting for the great show. That's and good. I'm... You sit tight. We'll be right with you, Okay. All right. Okay. I'm so excited about this. Thank you all for joining us on CoolChangeRadio.com, BradleyQuick.com, and on Facebook. As you know, you can catch our live and recorded video shows and interviews on those sites and many other websites. And as always, you can listen to our archived audio interviews, hundreds of them, your favorite topics, favorite experts, and favorite personalities at BradleyQuick.com. And if you're not hanging out at BradleyQuick.com or CoolChangeRadio.com, you should be on our Cool Change Radio site channel on YouTube. That's right. We have a, a Cool Change Radio channel on YouTube. We've got about 471,000 views so far in the last 90 days. I'm blown away. Go there, subscribe, get the latest. Every week there's updates. Every Every day there's a new show, so man, make it happen for you. Cool Change Radio on YouTube. All right, and every Monday we got a new feature. Uh, we feature a new segment titled Empower, "Empowering Empowerment Coaching for Parents: How to Raise Drug-Free Kids." It's brought to you by and hosted by Susan Blauner, Director of Operations for the Saving Lives Drug and Alcohol Coalition. This is going to happen shortly, so stay right where you are. Now, make a note. If you'd like to chime in with a question for my guest today, just pick up the phone and call us right now. Dial 818-824-9123. That's 818-824-9123. And keep that number on hand because that is the number to all the shows here on Cool Change Radio. 818-824-9123. Okay, he studied various philosophies of life and alternative medicine for many years all around the world. His knowledge combined with his personal unique talents enables him to identify the cause of syndromes and to start the individuals on healing processes for positive change. Joining us now on the Quick Fix Show on the Cool Change Radio and TV Network, all the way from Holland, a teacher of holistic medicine, acupuncture, and Eastern philosophy, Dr. Joseph Flores. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank you, Bradley. It's good to have yeah. you back here, it's isn't nice it? It's nice to be here again. Yeah, you would have been more, and one of my favorite And I have great guys. news for you all. What is the great news? The great news is the following. As you know, the energies are changing. Right. You see a lot of change going on in the world. Right. The people are changing of habits and character. Right. One thing, the negative force is taking over. I don't know about the negative Where force the negative taking over. negative force is... The emotional, the uncontrollable, the out of hand reaching energies are taking over. People are getting sick of depression, headache, the heart. And uh -huh. this is the solution. I have the solution by looking through you, giving you techniques that will erase you from the level because we have to erase our consciousness to another level. Well, I understand. I understand getting out of the getting out of the social matrix 
and into the spiritual matrix. That I understand. I understand the different dimensions of life, etc. I, I know. I, I know this. I've experienced all this stuff. Isn't it? Isn't it all just about awareness? Becoming aware of, of things and eliminating uh, negative character and, and negative uh, habits. Becoming aware of what you see is not the reality. It's feeling and seeing through what your eyes are perceiving as the reality. Well, if you change your perception, you can change your life. If, you, if you change the way you view things, you can change life. That's obvious. Okay. Let me explain, 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 uh, yeah, go ahead. explain the following. Right, right, right. We are thinking as human as me and I. Right. But we are made in the system of the universe. We are... Right, our body like, is composed okay, of the, okay, the same body. thing, the first of the, the, the body is star that I yes. can see, yes. But we are the all. We are what? The all. The all, okay. See through everything. Can you... I know I'm. I can't I feel see everything. Can you change yeah. everything? Can you? I, I'm sure that I this, can. I haven't mastered that yet. This though. is what we have to be evolving into okay. to become human beings. Human beings means great soul. Great soul. No, if we look around, we are suffering. We are like enslaved in our own thoughts, in our way of life. There are techniques, but there, are, there is another means which we have uh, received. That is Ambrotos. It is what? Ambrotos. Ambrotos? Ambrotos. 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 -E. Uh -huh. It is the sugars we are lacking in our body. The sugars we are lacking. Lacking, yeah. We... Now, explain that, because this is not the normal sugar. Okay. This is like... yes. Uh, we have uh, eaten so many strange substances. Yeah, and our bodies now become accustomed to these strange substances. Yes, yes. and uh, we have two sugars, glucose and galactose. Right. It's not sufficient for the communication of the cells. It's not sufficient for the immune system. Right. It's not sufficient for the digestive system. We right. are weak. Right. So, ambrotose comes with six different sugar. The six, the body naturally need to be strong, the communication very fast, mentally. Right. And we are getting sick from forgetfulness very young. Yes, yes. Young people are failing, some with heart, some with cells, all type of yeah, diseases. Yeah, adult onset diabetes okay. is found as chil in yes. young, children as young as six years old today. Okay, yes. So Amrotose will supplement the body, the physical body, so the body thought and action will be... So, so how, long, how long once somebody starts this Amrotose? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, it depends on the person. One is one month, the other a week, the other two weeks. But uh, this is recognized throughout the world. Okay, so I don't recognize it right no, no, yet. No, it now, I, now I understand yes, it, though. It so is. so what, what, where do we acquire this? Uh, we can give you the address because we are not the, the one to supply it. We you're not you, a distributor. But, we, no, no, no. We, we but propagate. This is, this, is, this is what you found. Now you propagate the solution. We propagate the solution. And then you get the person that will file your petition in. And it comes directly from the source to your house. So we can reach that, is the source. But one thing I guarantee you, Bradley, I broke two world records in my life 50 years ago. Yeah, there was the weightlifting and... Uh, weightlifting, twice. Right. I was born in a very small island. Now, ask right. me, how is it possible to beat the Russian and American? How is it possible to beat the Russian and American in weightlifting? Mental thought. Mental thought, mental, mental clarity. strength, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Ambrotos will supply you with the mental power. Wow, this is amazing! I'll, I want, I want to get a couple of bottles of this. Hey, Taylor, Taylor, give me some of this immediately, will you? Okay, he said he would. He said he would. Yes. So, can someone access health, happiness, and energy in life without taking something from the outside to fix their insides? I guarantee a technique, and I will give the technique to the people, those that are able and willing to follow what I proclaim. I give them a technique to think bigger and convert the energies 
I'm not talking from books. Right. I'm talking from facts. Right. Is there some way you can share that real briefly with uh, our listeners? Yes, I can share. Go ahead. Uh, if you if you put yourself in the thought of being the sun force, because on Earth we know all type of powers, but if the sun stops shining, everything dies. The greatest power of all is the sun. Right. But the sun is a very small part of the whole cosmological existence. Right. It's very, very fractional. In the Milky Way, the sun system is one of the 500 trillion. Yeah, right. And we are part of that 500 billions and trillions. So if you think big... You can do back. And, and, and as a matter of fact, every cell in our body has its own universe. And, well, and, yes, and we eight are, trillion, we yes, are yeah. one. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Yeah. Amazing. So it is the concentration, visualization, transportation, the control of uh, uh, the, the power of breathing, Listen, let's get more into this when we come back, but the music's just okay. about to start. We're just about to go to a break, and man, I'm here with Dr. Dr. Flores. He is just he is just amazing. He's just amazing. Stay put, everybody. If you got a habit you want to change, what would you do differently if you could to better your life experience? Well, we just might have some insight for you. Dr. Joseph Flores, he's studied various philosophies and life of alternative medicine for many years around the world, and he's here to help you. This is the Quick Fix on Cool Change Radio. We're broadcasting live from Freddie Siegel Studios. I'm Bradley Quick, and yes, we'll be right back. Today, experience the Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change. Written by Bradley Quick, author, producer, motivational speaker, and host of the award-winning radio talk show, The Quick Fix, with Bradley Quick on CoolChangeRadio.com. Bradley's passion for life is evident in his book, written so you can experience health, find your purpose, and have more effective relationships. Beating insurmountable odds, overcoming death and being paralyzed, Bradley fought his way back so he could help you conquer your struggles. Experience increased health, vitality, passion, and purpose in your life right now with The Quick Fix and read about Bradley's courage, ambition, and determination to live. Whether the issue is your thoughts, your physical body, or you just want to feel better and be happy, The Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change, will change your life. For only $19.95 plus shipping and handling, take positive action now and receive a free guided meditation CD with your order. That's a $20 value free with your order today. Go to BradleyQuick.com. That's Bradley Quick. Dot com. Take control and begin feeling better now. Get the book and free CD now at BradleyQuick.com. You're listening to The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. We'll be right back. This has never been attempted before by any treatment center ever. Seasons Malibu is willing to take the risk because they understand quality care and evidence-based long-term recovery. Pay for only three months of treatment and stay until you are better, period. I'll say that one more time. Pay for only three months of treatment and stay until you are better. Enough is enough. Seasons Malibu wants to count your days of recovery, not the dollars in your pocket. No gimmicks, no guarantees, just straightforward world-class treatment until you are better. Do not hesitate. Call now. Seasons Malibu, 866-780-8539, 866-780-8539. That's Seasons Malibu at www.seasonsmalibu.com or 866-780-8539. 866-780-8539 for a free consultation and details 866-780-8539 all right welcome back you're listening to the quick fix here on cool change radio your home for self-improvement and a place for positive change i'm bradley quick and we're right here right now to help you gain the upper hand in becoming all that you want to be this segment is brought to you by my buddies at GapZip.com. That's G-A-P-Z-I-P.com. They ask, how do you think? They say, how you think is more important than what you think. It's one of the chief reasons why many of you get stuck when you try to take the next step in your career or personal relationships. You can join the two di- dynamic guys from GapZip.com who actually teach people how to think at every second and fourth Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific. Second and fourth Tuesday at 7 p.m. Pacific at GapZip.com. Learn a new way to think. Go sign up. G-A-P-Z-I-P dot com. That's G-A-P-Z-I-P dot com. 
All right, for jo- those of you just joining us on Cool Change Radio, Facebook at BradleyQuick.com, welcome. You can listen to this show again at hundreds of hours of other self-discovery content anytime you want by simply going to BradleyQuick.com. Then you can also sign up for our weekly radio show email reminder where once a week you receive the most recent interviews of the comfort of your own home or office. Then you can listen at your convenience and make sure not to miss your favorite authors, experts, or personalities. You can also podcast any of our shows anytime. Anytime. Listen to us anytime from anywhere at www.bradleyquick.com. All right. Our guest today is Dr. Joseph Flores, who for the last 30 years has been able to see the light shining through everything. He sees disorders and other symptoms man cannot grasp. He has healed many people as a result of this. As a teacher, he also shares his knowledge in various countries such as Canada, North and South America, Latin America, the Caribbean Islands, and several European and African countries. Welcome back, Doctor. Thank you, Brad. We were talking about the sun being the source, right? Yes. It being it being fractional in this universe, but it being the source for us, right? Yes. And how we can manifest healing in ourselves. How do we do that? Well, uh, our system in uh, the East, there is a center, a etheric center that controls part of your, your sensory energies, right. your feelings. Right. Now, you have two energies that controls the human body, the motoric energy. Motoric w- energy? Motoric, which helps you to handle, to, to talk, to uh-huh. l- and the sensoric energy in which you feel intuitive, you feel things. There is a lot of people that are very sensitive, like you, Mr. Bradley, very sensitive. Now, you have passed a lot of disturbances in the past, as everybody has to pass. Everybody gets confused. There is nobody that does not pass it. Got to take, can't go around it. Okay, now, there are so many unresolved situations. Right where you put them, they all are triggered in part of your limbic system, your thought, your mind, your brain. If you can release these blockage, you don't get the positive energy, you're involved with negative past. Even if you think positive, the negativity can come anytime above because you have dropped the past. You don't want to be reminded of the past. I will teach you, I will give you techniques of how to put yourself above the past situation and resolve it. And then what we get, we get not the sympathetic system that will break you. We got the parasympathetic system that is the one that can create, that can convert energy at you will, you will project your thought, not here sitting and seeing. You will be there. Mr. Bradley. You're talking about astral planning. You can go to the astral anytime. Right. You sit here and I have met you in the last office. Right. Now look at me. Yes, sir. And transport yourself to that office. Yes, I'm there. Which which eye you transport, you see it. Which yeah, eye? I see it in the third eye. The, well, yes, yeah. you see it in the third eye. Yeah. Well, this is to tell the people in the, the brain, the mind, there is a very small particle that we call the third eye, but it is part of the limbic system with the old brain. The old brain is a troubleshooter. Don't they call that pineal gland? The pineal, no, pituitary. Oh, okay. Yes, the pituitary. Okay. And we have, if you combine the thalamus, the hypothalamus, the hypophysa, the apophysa, and the old brain stem, uh-huh. you have the limbic system. Uh-huh. No machine can see what you see. Because sickness of 20 years ago or 50 years ago, no machine invented can see it. Machines are made by human thought. Right. This machine has still to be discovered, Mr. <laughs> Bradley. <laughs> so I give people the teachings sequentially how to... Sequentially, how sequentially to do this, step, yeah. stepwise. Number one is concentration, visualization. Concentration, visualization. Visualization, right. 
and then we choose a center of force, not the invented forces done by men. Right. The natural power. An you, inventive force. So how do we create an inventive force? Inventive force forces, the sun is one. Right. The Milky Way is the other one. Right. You see Cyrus is another one. Right. They are existing. The Earth, Mother Earth is that, yeah. Mother Earth. Yeah. You can the element our forces. A tree might be a forceful uh, situation for you. The water might be a situation for you. I give you a technique that can fail, it's not failing my patients, a clients. Okay, tell me, tell me, give me this technique. <laughs> Breathing exercise, okay. Mr. Bradley. All right. If you learn how to breathe, incoming breath, you have to know how to breathe in, not through your mouth, through right, your nose. Right. And at the same time, you concentrate on your whole being. What you feel by breathing in, hold it in for nine counts or ten counts, and then breathe out through your mouth very slowly for five counts. Then again, repeat the breathing for Nine sequences, nine times, right. 10 or 12 seconds. Right. That is first one. While concentrating on the physical body, you concentrate from down to the head. And then we start concentrating to a, a center of force. We do, you, for, do, you, do you focus that energy of the, of the breath? Do you focus that energy of the breath on each uh, portion of the body as yeah, you walk you, yourself down from head to yeah, toe? Yeah, yeah, you just follow yeah. how the breath functions in the body. Right. By concentrating, as you concentrate on the arm, you will feel the energy in the arm. Right. Uh, that is what nobody tells you. Right. They don't know. If you concentrate, let us say somebody has a problem, uh, sexually problem. You can change that, Mr. Bradley. You don't need medicine. The body is the greatest medicine, and nature is there to supply the well, how would you? How would you change that problem? You change it by accepting that nature, if nature is not there to supply you with all the body needs, you come from nature, Mr. Right, Bradley, right. not from uh, pills. Right. The mind of you is so great it has no beginning, no ending, Mr. Bradley. Mm. The universe is too small for it. Right. So if you're a great thinker, you still can become universal thinker, Mr. Bradley. Why are you talking like this? Why I have proof. I'm like proving it. I yeah, prove it any time. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> you understand? So these techniques must be given. It is not something of 15 minutes. It takes an hour, two hours, and perhaps months before you can grasp the, the feeling and feel it because you're still living a common life thinking about me, about my passion, and this is and, mine. Uh, now, you're, you're, in, you're in Los Angeles now for a while, right? How long are you here for? Uh, I'm here for uh, the next two weeks. Two weeks. Is there a local number here? Yes, I have a local number. Taylor, is that, is that, did you get the local number? Yeah, okay. I guess there's a local number up on the screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I would suggest you give him a call because he's really di quite dynamic. Oh, I'm interested in giving lectures. Uh -huh. Not one person, a lecture, a group of persons. Okay, so if, if you have some, a group that you'd like him to address, yes, let's do that. Yes, let's, let's do that. I want people to pass through the common times of energy changes. This is nothing compared to the energy change we are expecting. You see already what is going on. But sometimes you see people not bothering themselves while everybody seems to get sick. The hospitals are full everywhere. Right, right. And it is not heart, it is cancer, it is depression, it is this. In Holland, suicidals. Why? Okay, forget the why. What can I offer you right. to pass through? This is what I want to do. Right. Not the wise. It sounds pretty crazy. Yes, it's crazy. But it's crazy. we are it's, here it's to also, pass it's through. It's the it's uh, domesticated social matrix. Yes. Is what it is. Yes, yeah. yes. And uh, what you're offering people is an opportunity to step out of that domesticated social matrix yes. into the spiritual and matrix. Yes, we are because, one. Because we are, we are spirits having a human experience, are we not? Yes, we are spirit, but we are thinking about my spirit, my God, uh, my soul, my, my, my. Right. I ask you, who was your father and your mother 
50 million years ago, you don't know. <laughs> right, right, right. I, I ask you, tell me the life of your grandfather and your grandmother. You don't know. No, no, no. What do you know? What you have learned now? What you know about yourself? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, uh, there's a, uh, a, what, a, 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 a chemical, that, an enzyme that's secreted when we're born that wipes out the memory. Yes, but it, we are born receiving uh, what our parents are passing over. And that has remained because we did not solve right. these problems. Well, when we come back, I'm going to tell us about healthy body, mind, and soul. Is that fair enough? That's fair. All right, buddy. All right, all right. Hey, everybody. This segment has been brought to you by my buddies at GapZip.com. They say thoughts are things. Thoughts lead to actions, which lead to results. So if you're sick and tired of your results, take a look at your thinking. Join them every second and fourth Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Just go to GapZip.com, G-A-P-Z-I-P.com, and sign up. This is Cool Change Radio, your home for self-improvement and a place to shape your vision of what's possible. I'm Bradley Quick, and hey, we'll be right back. There are self-help seminars costing thousands of dollars guaranteeing miraculous transformations. There are compelling speakers and life-changing weekend experiences where you can walk on fire. They all deliver revelations that guarantee you'll come back for the more expensive revelations filled with even greater wonder next month on Fiji. We get addicted to positive, heartfelt, expensive theater. What we really need is a jump start, an awakening, someone who can give us a reminder that everything we need lies within. Through inspiration and practical knowledge, Dorothy Donahue helps people get grounded and motivated, inspired and energized. It's not just words and affirmations and the power of intention. It's a mindset brought about by a tangible, transcendental experience, an audiovisual, physical, spiritual experience that helps us realize we transform ourselves. We get tools to become the conscious co-creators of lives of unlimited potential. Find out more. Go to DorothyDonahue.com. You're listening to The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. We'll be right back. I'm Melody Beatty, author of Codependent No More. Seven times more Americans have hepatitis C than AIDS. I'm one of them. If you're one of the millions of Americans with hepatitis C and your doctors are treating you with interferon, then you're clearly aware of how your life has been turned horribly upside down. Backed by huge pharmaceutical monies, the medical community swears there's only one dangerous, disabling way to battle this silent killer. It's not true. There are alternatives, and they work. Triumph Over Hepatitis C is a book written by best-selling author Lloyd Wright, who fully recovered from this frightening disease. Lloyd is helping others to take charge of their lives and fight for their body's freedom from this crippling illness. His program is working for me. Call the people at Hepatitis C Free now at 866-HEP-C-FREE. That's 866-HEP-C-FREE. Don't become another medical statistic. Find out the truth about Hepatitis C and get your life back. Get your copy of Triumph Over Hepatitis C at Barnes & Noble and at HepatitisCFree.com. Call 866-HEP-C-FREE. All righty, welcome back. You're listening to Cool Change Radio, your home for self-improvement and a place to find your passion and purpose. I'm Bradley Quick, and we're right here right now to provide you with alternative solutions to the issues in your life. You know where I'm going to be October 11th through 15th? I'm going to be in Teotihuacan, Mexico, home of the Toltec Pyramids, staying with my buddy at his place, uh, the Dreaming House. His name is Lee McCormick. That Dreaming House is run by Emily Greaves. It's Teotihuacan, Mexico, 60 miles out of Mexico City. It's at the base of the Toltec Pyramids. Get up every morning, have a meeting, bing, walk to the pyramids, and we go through the five portals of your life. You go through the five portals of your own life, utilizing the energy of the pyramids. Not, not the history of the pyramids, the energy of the pyramids and Toltec wisdom. It's an amazing place. It changed my life, so I know it will change yours. Make a note, October 11th through 15th, go to www.spiritrecovery.com. That's spiritrecovery.com. Click on the journeys link. Come join me on the pyramids. Now, Lee goes down there three, four, five times a year. Go to spiritrecovery.com. Check out the, the schedule. But I'm going to be down there again for the fourth consecutive time, October 11th through 15th. It changed my life. Come and join me on the pyramid, spiritrecovery.com. I'll see you there. Okay, he applies various methods and remedies to purify the body. In particular, the Ayurvedic techniques. They are based on 6,000-year-old Indian technique combining diets, detoxification, and purification. The cleansing effect has an extremely positive influence on the condition 
of both body and mind. With this in, in mind, with this at the forefront of your consciousness, he will shortly also offer hydrotherapy, herbal therapy, and mud bath therapy. Join us once again, Dr. Joseph Flores from Holland. Joseph, welcome back. Thank you, Bradley. So we were going someplace with that, and it's all about the body, mind, and soul, isn't it? Yes, it is body, mind, and soul. But the body remembered everything it passed through billions of years ago. So the b- how, the body, you, has, body has memory? Yeah, body genetic system uh-huh. has passed over. Wow. Since two million years ago, wow. the Homo erectus was walking the earth. Everything he had encountered and had thought of remained. So who to get rid of that? What for medicine you take would not get rid. It is the mind. Right. But now, if I can stir you up. Sure, stir me up. For 20, 30 years. I go with you 35, 40 years ago. All right. Well, then you was passing the test. Yeah. 35, 40 years ago. I don't know your life. I know your life. Uh Uh-huh. So, did you erase them from your subconscious? Your subconscious is still in your limbic system. Right. Because I can see it still. Right. You have to erase it because it costs energy. Right. So what do you see in me? We'll use me as a guinea pig. What do you see in me sitting across the console from here? What do you see in me and how do I get rid of it? Your light is always the light blue color. You're a light being, Mr. Bradley. So when you burn, you choose the worst for your body because that is the balance for the light you have. And this has caused you to pass through a lot of sequences in which your life was not a penny worth. You was facing destruction. Right. There are moments you wanted to die. It's over, yeah. Okay, it's over. But those moments and those feelings are still in the limbic system. Uh huh. So you have to erase it. No, by erasing it, you have to draw a stronger energy than what the earth is supplying you with in thinking, in action. You're breathing in the normal oxygen. I tell you to breathe in the cosmic energies. For that, I learn you how to open up the senses, not the chakras only, the mental senses. I learn you to transport yourself. So when you say I learn you, you mean I'll teach you? I teach you. You teach you how to open up these... Yes, how to open those centers beyond the chakras. The chakras are what people know about. But people feel things from here to Timbantu. You have any friend in the world right now in China, perhaps, I don't know. Just give me the name, I tell you everything about him. Right, right. So I dare that. But everybody can do that, Mr. Brett. Everybody has that ability. It is, I'm 75 years old. You're not. Yes. Really? And I want to pass this knowledge over. If not, it is silly. I was here, and everybody is talking money. Mr. Bretty, I had all the money in the world. Right. I was giving the millions when I financed Antigua, when I financed the Mormons. Uh-huh. I did not take money. I was concerned with the human body. Right. And God is met my second that knows and hears everything I speak. I want to help humanity. Now, Ambrotos, if I can stir you from what you still bound in, I give you Ambrotos. The communication you get from Amnotos is not the communication you usually know how to do. It's a superb, a stronger communication. What the immune system system gets is the sugar it has not gotten in years. Therefore, a lot of people are suffering all type of disease. Now, what are we doing? Curing the disease? The disease remains still in the limbic system. He will feel that. Even if he, he feels better, he will feel that he is a sick right. being. Right. Why we get sick by reaching 65 and 70 years? The man is not good anymore. The woman has changed. Sickness, sickness. And we are ready to die. Why? I'm 75. Really? I still believe there is a lot of years before I can pass over this knowledge. 
I threat live of I threat life, Mister. I challenge myself. Can you do that? Absolutely. Okay. Now, now we uh, we challenge ourselves, and we we have to follow a certain protocol, uh, that a, a method other than our own to get there, though, right? Because if we yes. keep doing what we're doing, we'll keep getting what we're getting. Yes. Yes. And 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 so and it's generally so hard for somebody to break that subconscious it's homeostasis. Hard. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard and to it's, do. It. And it's hard to tell people, believe you are part of the all. It's hard, right, right, Mr. Bradley. Right. But if you well, can, they're domesticated. They're domesticated. They're well, social. Well, you see, we are domesticated. We believe in this. We believe in that. All our willpower is divert, diverted in 50 different right, right, situations. Right. I believe we are, Mr. Bradley. If I can tell you anything about nobody, I don't care who they are. Give me the name. He might be sitting thousands of miles away. I will give him surprises. Mm -hmm. But now, I'm here to help them. Now, we have amrutos, the sugars. Uh -huh. And this backs up. When I stir up this energy and you take amrutos, I teach you how to erase it from your subconscious, from your ethereal being. You will become, in a short time, a person that can do things you never dreamt to do. Oh, I love it. That's this exciting. is my work. So That's what it. is the purpose of life, in your opinion? The purpose of life is to realize yourself who you are. Can you see yourself, Mr. Bradley? Because I see you. Good. So the moment you can see around and you see everybody, you're part of everything, Mr. Bradley. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So the, 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 the purpose of life, according to Dr. Joseph Flores, is to understand who you really are. Yes, and I understand that you're a part of. You're part of the You're not all. better. You're not worse. You're no, part of. We are all the same. Everybody right. can make mistakes. Don't right. blame them. Don't hit them. Because you're the same. Right. If you say, he is a bad person because the badness you have in you. <laughs> right, if right. not, you don't know right, if right. he is bad or not. Right, right. Well, this is cool. Did I miss something? Is there something in the last minute or two you want to talk about here? Well, you know, uh, I will... Uh, stress this the following people need inside information and this is not in books anymore uh, we will have to train people in this country to profess the truth and we will back up the whole project I have my clinic in Holland I'm well known right. people know me already for what sure, I do sure. so I'm I have the guarantee to train these people they are then the key person to profess this. And Amrotos is the means. I say Amrotos for me is not a wonder medicine, it's nature itself. We right. give them the supplementing of what nature could not offer them because what you eat and what you drink today is all synthetic. Everything you drink and eat, you have to watch out what you're drinking and eating. It is modified. We are 6.7 trillion people. Wow. Where we get all this food <laughs> to digest, Mr. Bradley? We have to start inventing things. No, we get sick uh -huh. about that. So do me a favor. I want you to come back here. Thank you. I want you to come back here. Uh, 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 we'll fit you in someplace. Okay. Before you go, and we'll set that up before you leave the studio today. And uh, this has just been fantastic. Uh, uh, Taylor, we got his information up there. Yeah, okay, I guess you guys are looking at all his information on the screen. Uh, his name is Dr. Joseph Flores. He's an amazing man from Holland. He's here for a couple weeks. If you'd like to uh, book him to speak to your group, I'm sure you can call him on the number on your screen. And uh, it's just been amazing, doctor. Just they amazing. can cross-question me, too. I don't care. They what? They can cross question you. Oh, they can, they can yeah, doubt yeah, you. They, they can they, doubt you and ask yeah. you. <laughs> you like challenges. Don't I you? like challenges. Yes. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, you're wonderful. And thanks for looking at Thank my light. Brother. Thanks for looking at my light. This has been really, really fun. Okay. And we'll do this really, really soon again, okay? God bless you all. Thank God you. bless you too. And I'm, I'm, this is fantastic having you on the show. This is great. This is great. <laughs> this is great. Stay put, everybody. You're in the right place. Cool Change Radio would like to welcome all our new talk shows, including Dates and May with Dear Mrs. D's Demona Hoffman. Love, serve, feed people, and remember God with Michael Brian Baker. And do look for our other upcoming shows all here on Cool Change Radio. 
We're coming right back with Empowerment Coaching for Parents, How to Raise Drug-Free Kids with Susan Blauner. And you're listening to Cool Change Radio, your home for self-improvement here on your Solutions Radio Network. We'll be right back. Get quality goods for less from Bag City, serving all of Reno, Denver, Las Vegas, Bakersfield, Salt Lake City, Los Angeles, and many more cities. Up to 70% below retail on everything. Coin purses, wallets, organizers, purses, briefcases, backpacks, traveling garment bags, and ladies' and men's leather jackets. All discounted, all up to 70% below retail. Bag City, the best for less. Bag City serving all of Reno, Denver, Las Vegas, Bakersfield, Salt Lake City, Los Angeles, and many more cities. Contact Bag City at 818-990-1795. That's Bag City, quality goods for less money. Bag City, where 15% of all sales go to local charities. You can't beat that. You help local charities while getting quality goods at up to 70% below retail. Contact Bag City now at 818-990-1795. Contact Bag City today and get quality goods for less money. That's 818-990-1795. Shop Bag City to save. Shop Bag City for charity. Bag City, 818-990-1795. You're listening to The Quick Fix with Bradley Quick. Purpose, power, motivation. We'll be right back. Today, experience The Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change. Written by Bradley Quick, author, producer, motivational speaker, and host of the award-winning radio talk show, The Quick Fix, with Bradley Quick on CoolChangeRadio.com. Bradley's passion for life is evident in his book, written so you can experience health, find your purpose, and have more effective relationships. Beating insurmountable odds, overcoming death and being paralyzed, Bradley fought his way back so he could help you conquer your struggles. Experience increased health, vitality, passion, and purpose in your life right now with The Quick Fix and read about Bradley's courage, ambition, and determination to live. Whether the issue is your thoughts, your physical body, or you just want to feel better and be happy, The Quick Fix, a simple process for positive change, will change your life. For only $19.95 plus shipping and handling, take positive action now and receive a free guided meditation CD with your order. That's a $20 value free with your order today. Go to BradleyQuick.com. That's Bradley Quick. Com. Take control and begin feeling better now. Get the book and free CD now at Bradley Quick. All righty, everybody. All righty. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you all for joining us on CoolChangeRadio.com, Facebook.com, and BradleyQuick.com. As you know, you can catch our live and video recorded shows on CoolChangeRadio.com and over 700 hours of my best audio interviews, your favorite topics and personalities at BradleyQuick.com. This is The Quick Fix. We're broadcasting live from Freddie Siegel Studios. We're your home for self-improvement and a place for positive life enhancement. I want you to know we're being supported in large part by one of my favorite charities, the Cool Change Foundation. The foundation was created to help families and all the children in those families. They do that by providing positive transformational life enhancement methods and techniques to those children's caretakers, usually moms and dads, so they may overcome negative habits and become better role models and providers for the kids. As a direct result, the children's home and family life becomes more nurturing and loving. It does every time. It's really a beautiful thing. You can help the Cool Change Foundation, help the mom, dads, and kids in your community, and you can do that right now. Send so a Sydney donation of love and support directly to the foundation at www.thecoolchangefoundation.org. That's thecoolchangefoundation.org. Once there, simply click on the support us link at the top of the page. You'll be helping us help the kids. Again, that's thecoolchangefoundation.org. Every penny counts, and the children need your help. From all of us here at Cool Change Radio, we thank you for your support. Okay, here she is. Here's our empowerment coaching for parents. How to Raise Drug-Free Kids, brought to you by and hosted by Susan Blatter, Director of Operations for the Saving Lives Drug and Alcohol Coalition. Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you, Bradley. It's good to have you here. Good to be back. It's always good to have you. So uh, tell us about children and cell phones. Well, today I want to talk directly to the parents because we know that 7 out of 10 teens uh, have a cell phone. And um, although we're discussing uh, drugs and alcohol and how to raise drug-free teens, this is part of the process, and that is for parents to be watching the cell phone use. So first of all, we have to understand that parents uh, have to have a complete control over the cell phone usage. They have to sit down with their teens. They have to make rules and regulations uh, with them, uh, maybe even sitting down and signing a contract if that's what's necessary, but at least having a communication where there's clarity um, about uh, how many minutes, who they're calling, when they're calling, 
the rules and regulations of school not to be using cell phones in the schools, of course. And are, are cell phones actually permitted in schools? Most schools do not allow cell phone usage, uh, and, but most of the kids have them on them. You know, they probably have them where they shut them off or have to right. keep them in their locker. Some schools don't allow uh, cell phones at all, but we're just talking in the general picture of those who are keeping them in their backpacks and so forth and so on. But the issue with teens are that there's messaging going on. There's lots of messaging. Like texting. Texting. Right. Texting uh, and saying to one another, um, I'll meet you over here. Let's go by the back fence of the school. I'll see you at uh, 3 o'clock. Check me out at lunchtime. You know, all the things that parents, if they start to watch and let their kids know ahead of time, that they're going to be monitoring the messaging. That is very critical so that the kids themselves know, oh, oh, my parents are watching. Remember, as I've stated before on this show, and I will continue to reiterate through subsequent programs, when teens know that their parents care and are looking out after them, much as they will grumble, there's a feeling of security within them knowing, well, my parents do watch, my parents do care. So when you say to them, I will be monitoring your message, your messaging, I will be monitoring your calls, I will be checking the phone bill. One of the things we've learned is that some of the teens are paying their own phone bills, and therefore the parents never see who they're calling or who they're not calling. Right, the, the bill's actually in the child's name. It comes in the child's to name, them. and the, these teenagers you, you, are paying you being for being a them. parent should open it anyway, right? Should open it anyway, but we've seen stories now where parents actually do not see the bills at all. Drug dealers uh, are very astute to what's going on, and many teens who are involved in drugs and who are either dealing or in usage of drugs, they have these quick, quick dial numbers to get to their uh, drug dealers, and we've we, we've seen many stories of this. As a matter of fact, I read a story just this morning um, from one of our sites that we have with Katka. Um, and SAMHSA, we have uh, many different avenues being a coalition uh, working uh, for the government. But the one of the uh, stories was uh, a young lady who started out, with, and how did she get started? With her cell phone. She got involved with a drug dealer in the seventh grade. Parents, the seventh grade. This girl went on to do very hard drugs. She kept it. She kept her grades up. She was a 3.5. She taught, uh, I think, gymnastics in the schools. She was very involved. No one in the world knew she was doing drugs. And how was she getting some of these drugs? Well, she was dating some of these drug dealers, so I don't need to go further on the radio for you to understand how she was getting uh, many of these drugs. But she said her lifeline to the drugs was her cell phone. Mm. And that is something that uh, we really need to, need to take into consideration. Now, I'm not telling parents not to give their kids a cell phone. Cause no, but you need to know, the parents need to know what they're doing with the cell phone, who they're contacting, who they're in, in communication with, right? Right, exactly. And also that the cell phone is a privilege, not, a, not a, an entitlement. Exactly, absolutely. And you, and you need to see, like if you just see uh, the name George on their listing, you need to go through their address book. Oh, well, who's on the cell phone? Who are they contacting? Well, who is this George? And why are you speaking with them? And I need to know who this George is. And if the parent needs to pick up the phone and call this George themselves, I, I know it sounds like, okay, we're asking the parents to do a lot of snooping. But in this day and age, it is imperative that parents remain alert because that George or, or Brian or whomever could, have, could be contacting your teen and getting them involved in a subculture that you surely do not want your kids involved with. That's true, isn't it? It's very true, and it's very important that that's why we have this discussion on cell phones today. So, so uh, what's the biggest uh, downturn you've seen in somebody using a cell phone, some kid using a cell phone? Do you have any tragic stories aside from the one you talked about with the... Well, we, yeah, well, her story goes on, you know, much deeper. She gets very, very involved and very deeply into drugs and alcohol and uh, takes her many, many, many years. Not only does she get down into drugs and alcohol along the way, but uh, she starts to pull down her younger siblings into the drug culture, you know, and friends and so forth and so on. Until at a point in time where she is... Uh, goes into rehab and starts to get clean and now she's able to talk about it and she's giving out the warnings parents please please what, check what out are some your... of the red flags some of the some of the red flags would be uh, number one kids are hiding their phone their cell phones you know like oh no you don't need to look at that you don't need to who I'm calling here's another red flag you'll see something in the messaging here's 
things in the messaging, like uh, POS. What does POS mean? Parent probably that parents. You probably don't know what POS. What means. does POS mean? Parents over shoulder. Ah. Uh huh. How about PIR? PIR. Parents in room. Right. You know what I mean? They have these little sub that the parents parents will walk by and see, oh, POS, PIR, you know, and other little acronyms that they have, and they wouldn't have any idea what that means. But what it means is either if they're speaking with someone, that other someone on the other, on the other end knows to either cut the conversation or stop texting at that point. And, um, or friends of theirs that are getting involved and saying, oh, we're going to a party, we're going to be at three, you know, oh, PIR, parents in room, you know, so they immediately shut down or teachers walking by. Wow, this is a bummer, huh? It's a bummer now. You know, there are many kids who, you know, use their cell phones reliably and are trustworthy and things like that. I don't want every parent to go out there and think, oh, my, my God, my kid's on drugs. But you have to be, just like I say, go in their rooms, search out their rooms, make sure what's going on in there. You are doing a room search when you're going through their um, cell phones. Now, the next thing that you have to look at are their computers. Who, what are they downloading? What are they looking at on their computers? Who are they, uh, uh, you know, looking for? What kind of subject matter are they looking at? Uh, start to look, you know, are they looking at 60s type cultures? Are they looking at, you know, the Bob Marley type things? And, and, uh, and, and, if, and things like that, you have to start to see a mindset. Uh, what kind of messages are they looking at um, from the media? That kind of a thing. Now, is there a lot of uh, a lot of this going on on Facebook and uh, and MySpace and Facebook other... and MySpace? Now, when a parent checks out Facebook and MySpace, number one, parents, you must have the um, you must have all the codes getting into Facebook and MySpace in order to allow your kids to have a Facebook and MySpace. If you're doing that, so uh, so wait, wait, you want the parents to access have access? They must have access. It's a mu it's a must have access. Because the teens of today, they don't even realize the damage that they're doing. They're in these risque pictures, and you can see a lot by what's going on in parties and all these pictures and friends of friends and friends of friends, what's happening in the pictures to see, well, is this who I want my teenagers or younger than teenagers, preteens, to be involved with? And we definitely want to make sure that on Facebook that the kids themselves know, well, my mother's looking at my Facebook account. But here's another thing. In the future... Um, let's say your teenager moves on to 17, 18, 19 year olds and years old and wants to get a job. Well, they need to understand that they, they don't even have any idea that employers are checking out Facebook. Even employers for, let's say, like a McDonald's or, you know, a, a, a some kind of a job that, you know, our youth are getting, they're checking out Facebook to see what the reliability is of the people and who they want to hire. And uh, these teens need to understand the ramifications of everything that they're putting yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, because having a child is a really important thing, but raising a child properly is more important than that, huh? Exactly. On top of the fact that we know that there are predators out there who are looking at these Facebook accounts and finding ways to reach these teens that the parents have that no idea. That could be idea. a bummer. This has been Empowering Coaching for Parents, How to Raise Drug-Free Kids, brought to you by and hosted by our lovely lady, Susan Blatter, Director of Operations for the Savings Lives Drug and Alcohol Coalition. We'll see you next time, Susan. Thank you Is very much, Bradley. Bradley. You're the best. You're the best of the West. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. You are so good. You are so. She is so good. She is so good. All right, listen, I want to thank everybody, uh, like Fred Siegel and our friends from around the globe, for supporting our charity, the Cool Change Foundation. You two can help the foundation, help the mom, dads, and kids in your community, and you can do that right now. So you can send your donation, love, and support directly to the foundation at www.thecoolchangefoundation.org. Every penny counts. No donation is too small. We all need your help. I'd like to thank our fabulous guest, Dr. Joseph Flores from Holland. He's a teacher of holistic medicine, acupuncture, and Eastern philosophy. I also like to thank the people that make this show happen. Our fantastic engineer, Rob Ganey, author of Rockin' Your Stage Sound, available in bookstores now. Our fitness expert, Paul Medrano. Our assistant producer is Taylor Hoskins. The show is produced by Bradley Quick Productions. It's been made possible by Fred Siegel, YouTube, Google, Buzzbros, The Salvation Army, Universal Studios, Milestones Ranch, Malibu, Tim Allen, Marilyn Toth, and many others, including the Cool Change Foundation. Now remember, it's time for a cool change with the Cool Change Foundation. Now go, go be good to yourself, be good to your siblings, be good to your family, be good to your kids, all right? Because they really, really, really need you. We'll see you tomorrow.